Yo, what's going on? It's been a long week. What is this, like week 17 of, of not having school in the actual schools? Um, yeah, by the way, I went to haircutting school uh, yesterday and uh, I failed at Barbizon. As a matter of fact, they told me um, you know, I could never or should never touch anybody's head and give them a haircut, but uh, you know, I gave it a shot. It, uh... <laughs> My wife, Jenna, was wondering, she was like, hey, I think it's impossible for you to catch coronavirus. She was like, the only thing that you caught so far is dumbass based on the things that I've been doing lately. So, um, but anyway, uh, it's just <laughs> been a crazy week. So, um, I got a message from my cousin John in, uh, in Massachusetts, and he was like, dude, he's like, you got to try this new drink. It's called the Corona Killer. And I'm like, all right, guy. I was like, let me give it a shot. And he says, no. He says, you got to try it like on your next, you know, whole entire drink clip. And I said, fine, what's in it? So uh, I'm going to go over um, the ingredients and whatnot. And the, the funniest part about it is I'm drinking it right now. These things are freaking bomb ass. They're really good. First thing, ice, ice baby. Big glass, big drink today. Number two. You can pick different types of gins for this drink. We have Tangeray. We also have Malfi. So the reason I'm using this one, and my wife was like, don't use that, I'm not a gin, is because of the fact that, number one, it's grapefruit infused, and we need vitamin C. This is the time to have vitamin C, so I'm using it. Did you hear that? There's a cork in it and everything. It's amazing. Just listen. Listen to the ice just... First, number two, ginger beer. You can use ginger ale, but you know, you want to have some fine ingredients. You can use Schweppes if you want, whatever makes you happy, whatever's in your house. But I highly recommend this Fever Tree ginger beer. It's amazing. Amazing. So, the first time I tried this, I said, what can I do to make it better besides add lime? Lime is actually supposed to be the last thing you add to it. But I want to make it a little bit more special. We're indoors all the time. I don't think anybody's going to have April vacation. Sorry to ruin it for everybody. But I just needed that one more thing. So I decided to add coconut rum to it. You don't need to mix it. You don't need to do anything to it. You just pour it on the top like a topper. Pull it right out, and then voila, you have yourself paradise. This is, this is probably why I've been drinking these for part of the day. They are absolutely delicious and uh, full of vitamin C, low on the calories, not, but I highly recommend you give this a whirl. Thank you, Cousin John of Massachusetts. Bomb diggity right here. Booyah.